You are watching Linux Mint 13 XFCE Bootcamp, and I know this is an episode a lot of you have been waiting for. We are going to be installing Compiz Fusion right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. All right, now we're going to take this a step further. You're looking at my desktop right now. And what I've done with this is I've tweaked my desktop. I wanted to go back to a dark theme again. I don't know what it is about dark themes. I love them, but they just kill my eyes. <laughs> but when I'm looking at my uh, laptop screen, I'm usually wearing my reading glasses, so I can see this just fine. And then when I'm doing these video tutorials, I'm actually looking at all of this on the big screen, so it's not so bad. All right, well. Everything that I have covered in episodes 1 through 6, you can do this yourself. I've given you all the information that is necessary on how to install added themes. And believe it or not, there is a dark theme in there. And you can apply the window borders and you can achieve a look just like this. So before you ask any questions about how did you get this appearance or that appearance and how did you do this and that... Believe me when I tell you, I have already covered it in this series. So you may want to look over those videos again and again and again and that sort of thing. You'll, you'll definitely pick all of this up. Experimentation is key. I cannot stress that enough. Go through your settings manager and exploit it. Everything you need to know about tweaking your file manager to get it to look uh, the way I have mine here uh, is covered um, right here in the file manager preferences. You go in there, you can define the size of your icons and everything. You can change their appearance and very soon I'm even going to be changing the icon set so it matches uh, my theme here. I'm not quite done theming this. So there's a lot of good stuff. All right, so at this point, let's go ahead and move on to today's exercise. We are going to be adding Compiz. Now, I have decided not to install Compiz on my desktop as I have it here because this is strictly just for screencasting. I'm still using Arch Linux to uh, amuse myself, and uh, whenever I'm at the coffee shop, I'm usually running Arch Linux, wobbling my windows and everything, and uh, I use Arch strictly uh, for the coffee shop and playing a few video games and that sort of thing. So let's go ahead and open up a virtual machine now, and you will see this is the state in which we were at. Okay, many of you may not realize this, but you've already got Compiz installed. We just need to add some things to make it usable. So let's go ahead and open up our Synaptic Package Manager and begin. Of course, we need to give it our password. And now, let's type in Compiz. All right, we might want to grab a few different things here. Maybe we want to grab the Compiz plugins main. We'll mark those for installation. Let's get all of the plugins for this. Compiz plugins, we'll add that as well. We want the Compiz config settings manager here. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to control it. And then, of course, the Python compass config is a dependency that is required. We can get the compass plugins extra. Compass fusion plugins main, we'll mark that as well, why not? Okay, and do we have the fusion icon already checked here? Ah, yes, we need to get the fusion icon as well. Okay, since we're not using KDE, I'm not going to put in the KDE one here. But we also have 
Compiz Fusion Plugins Extra. Let's grab that one too. We want all of the plugins. Okay, we don't really need the development file, so I'm okay with this. Let's go ahead and click Apply to install them. And surprisingly enough, this isn't going to use that much space. It's only going to use 18.6 megs. Cool deal. We'll click Apply and let this go through the, the install process there. So why haven't we selected Emerald? Well, if we do a search for it, you will see that Emerald is not in the repository. And I am not going to focus on that here because there are so many nice window decorations that we've already pre-installed uh, in the last episode. Before we can use Compiz, we need to configure it. So, in the uh, search box here, we're going to type in CCSM. And this will give us the Compiz Config Settings Manager. My recommendation to you is that, if necessary, pause the video uh, from time to time because there are a number of things that we are going to be doing to uh, tweak all of this. Let's go ahead and enable OpenGL. And of course we will need to enable compositing, which it did here. Let's go into General Options and let's start selecting a few things here. And basically I'm just reading through here to make sure everything's okay. Looks good here. These are some key bindings that you can assign as well, which is separate from the key bindings that you have uh, for the XFCE desktop environment. Okay, and then we can select this to three desktops. Maybe one in the virtual size. do three desktops. I'll see how that looks. Okay, let's go back here. All right, now, we can tell it to opacify. When we go into this option here, that's super O, make windows easily vi visible by mouse hovering over them. You know what? Maybe not. But we have a screen magnifier, and of course it will ask us to enable mouse position polling. Yes, you do want that enabled. And under the magnifying settings here, to initiate, initiate that, you will press the super key, or the window key that's on your keyboard, plus M to initiate the magnifier. You also have an enhanced desktop zoom if you want to zoom in on things like you may have seen in previous episodes. This is more, more for uh, people with uh, visual impairments, but you can zoom in on the desktop if you want that option. I don't even think I'm going to use that one this time around. Okay, now, if you want the desktop cube, you got to enable that. We need the ability to be able to rotate the cube as well. I like the Expo, um, which allows us to show all the windows in a stack. I like the 3D window option. We can use animations. We can use the animation add-on. Cube reflection and deformation needs to be selected. Fading windows. Nah, I don't know about that, but trail focus is nice. Wobbly windows. You got it. Make sure you have window decorations enabled. If you do not, when we enable Compiz, you will not be able to uh, see any decorations on your windows and be able to move them around. Maybe we might want to show a splash screen. 
to let people know we're running uh, Compiz. And you can even enable uh, window previews on the taskbar, or panel as we call it. Image loading, I enable all of these. If you want to have wallpapers on your cube faces, you'll want this plugin enabled. I've always liked the shift switcher. We want the uh, move window option available to us. Now something you may want to look at in general options, under desktop size, I have a horizontal virtual size of three. So three horizontal desktops, vertical virtual size is two, and the number of desktops set at three. That should be sufficient. All right, now, we can go ahead and close this. Oh, let me open that back up here. One moment, please. For our cube effect or sphere or whatever we're going to use, um, for rotate the cube, okay, under key bindings here, for rotating the cube, I wanted to have something that would be easy. So I just clicked the button, I pressed super, and then selected the mouse button one for me. But you can set these at any choice of keys that you want. All right, let me go ahead and close this. Now let's go ahead and launch. Now, we're going to right-click on this icon. We're going to select the Window Manager. Instead of XFWM4, we're going to tell it we want Compiz. And all kinds of funny things are going to happen here in a moment. The comp his screen's lighting up, and I'm going to open up a window. And as you can see, we've got wobbly windows. And we can also rotate our cube by pressing super and then using the mouse button. And pretty much, that is it. If you want to know more about Compiz and all the fun things that you can do, please go on my channel and select the Pin Guy OS How To series. I have a five part series comprehensive Compiz How To, everything you want to know about it. All right, I hope you guys are now able to wobble your windows and spin your desktop cube until you get dizzy. Yeah. Well, in the next episode, we're going to take it a step further. We're going to compile and install Emerald from source since it's not available in the software repositories. Also, I'm going to show you how to get that Fusion icon to auto start so that your wild, wacky effects will start up every time you log into your machine. So you'll definitely want to stick around for that episode. Mm -hmm.